friends, fellows, countrymen, viewers of all kinds from all areas coming to YouTube to watch this video series. What you see is a virtual amalgamation of Memorial Stadium in Lawrence, Kansas. The NCAA Football 06 Game Day crew is here coming out. Lee Corso picks the K-State Wildcats to win this version of the Battle for the Governor's Cup, as I think, well, it's never been called that. I don't actually think. I think the game calls it that. It's really called the uh, the Sunflower Showdown, brought to you, brought to you by Dillon's. Uh, the Kroger Corporation has bought us out and has uh, promptly put its logo all over everything, one of the like four grocery store chains in the entire state. So, KU playing K-State at home this weekend. This is NCAA Football 06. Uh, for my money, probably the best college football game ever. Um, and I'm serious about that. I've played this game maybe the second most of any other. I think NCAA 05 that I played last week was actually my most like tenured experience with the game because that was like one of the few games I had where I had it in elementary school and then was still playing it through like junior high into high school. It was just one of those things. I don't know why I did it, but it was, you know, you have a game you like and you continue playing with it. This was like that. I never owned this when it was new, actually. Uh, I just rented it from Blockbuster over and over and over again on the, uh, on the X box and then I eventually bought a copy of my own and uh, gosh this is a great game this is probably the best college football game just so much fun there's uh, the recruiting is fun in the dynasty mode that was always like a thing I didn't like in the earlier games you've got so much depth all of like the play calling there's so many different offensive styles you can run you can succeed the running engine is really good the defensive engine is really good like blitzing with your linebackers is so much fun and you actually have success like having fun in college football and the other games it was it was good but it wasn't like this this feels like the perfect mix of like arcade and real football meanwhile Madden 06 was not that way at all uh, Madden 06 had that quarterback vision cone if you remember that was not fun um, but you know the NCAA game was great NCAA 07 is pretty good as well so uh, if you're going back and just buying a classic football game this is the one I would actually pick up first or from this era at least there are, there are maybe better football games from before I don't know why I air quoted football games better like NFL games before this but this is probably the best college football game for my money and you can get it for like four bucks pretty much anywhere you go but yeah, we're doing this in the 05 season, probably my favorite season of college football. This was when the, uh, the Mark Mangino led the Kansas Jayhawks, finally turned it around. They had a 7-5 and five season, had a bowl game victory, a bowl game that I was at. I referenced last week that I had been to Amy G. Carter Stadium in Fort Worth. And I had. It was for the bowl game that the KU Jayhawks went to this year uh, in 2005, the Fort Worth Bowl, where they took on Houston. And they beat Houston with the help of their running back, a guy named Clark Green. He was kind of the prototypical KU running back. We'd see guys like him again and again as the years came. We had guys like Jake Sharp. And we had James Sims, dudes who could catch the ball, who could run the ball, who could really just do it all. Weren't you know? He wasn't necessarily a power back, wasn't necessarily a speed back. He was just your solid, give the ball to him, and he would run and he would score kind of guy. Um, not a hell of a you, to to describe him, you'd have to use a lot of words, but there's not like one category you can just put him into. And that was that was what was really fun about this team. This was a defensive team. They were a run first team, but they could just completely suffocate you. Uh, when you were a Jayhawk fan, that was good. If if you were an opposing team or just like a general college football fan, I wouldn't have wished like the 13-3 the to KU victory over Missouri on anybody um, unless you were a KU fan. I remember the K-State game this year was 7-3 uh, to three was the final score. K-State scored one touchdown. KU scored one field goal. It was a horrible game. The uh, the Cats getting into KU territory were up by two touchdowns, by the way, and they pull a me here. They go for the field goal and uh, the, I'm sorry, the fake field goal and they completely uh, mess it up and fall on their face. Faces, which is something I, I love doing. It's kind of my thing, really. Uh, even though I'm more the fake punt guy. But yeah, we go here. Uh, I've been throwing the ball very sparingly. I go into double coverage there, and that succeeds somehow. I'm mostly a run first guy in this game, well, at least with this team. It's really fun to run like a shotgun based offense. I ran a dynasty with Tulane for a while, and they have like a really good running quarterback in this game. So he, that was always the sort of offense I liked running in, uh, in NCAA 06. We make the field goal here to be 17 to 0 at half. Half, just business as usual, you know, KU dominating the, the Kansas State Wildcats on the gridiron. Yeah, that's something that happens every year, and it's absolutely going to happen this weekend. Certainly, I'm, I'm not optimistic at all about this game this weekend. This is going to be a beatdown for several reasons. Number one, KU's offense uh, doesn't move. 
Uh, barely had yards, like barely got yards at all. Like 21 total yards of offense against TCU. K-State, it's a big game for them. It's a big game for us too, but they, the offense and the defense just aren't good. And uh, third of all, and I think that's actually mostly coaching, it seems like. They just can't connect with the players or something. Guys, uh, I don't know that guys aren't trying because I, I see them out there. They're, it seems like they're trying. It's just something's not working. For I, I feel like it's maybe a coaching or an administration issue. I still don't think you should fire the, the head coach right now, but I feel like the athletic director, he's, his days might be kind of numbered. Anyway, also here, we're just rushing the ball. We're just getting yards down the field. We got the... Uh, that, that is a sign that I created, the screaming, just, ah, sign. Um, you were able to create your own signs in, in NCAA football 05 and 06 uh, and so forth on the PlayStation 2 and Xbox. And I did that because it was hilarious and you could put whatever you wanted on there. And it's actually fun going back to it now because I remember, like, I edited those signs back when I was in high school. So I'm here, like, now 22, playing through this game, and I'm like, what What was I thinking when I put certain things on a sign? That was a reference back to, there was a website called Encyclopedia, the, the screaming sign, because anytime they would use the word scream in an article, they would hyperlink to another Encyclopedia article entitled, ah, and it was just that, the entire page down. I thought that was the funniest thing in the world. K-State scored, by the way, um, but we're winning by so much, who cares? You know, it feels good to be in the driver's seat. Normally, if it's a blowout, I wouldn't... Use use it but it's not it's not really a blowout this game it's actually and I like running the ball in this game it's just fun to show the way that running works the blocking is really good where in prior games it hadn't been in prior games the receivers would drop balls all the time and it doesn't really happen here even though on that play the quarterback just sort of didn't try to catch the pass there and it ends up being a fumble on the, on the quarterback screen a play that never works and here we almost get the safety, but can't quite can't quite make it. Twenty-five to six ends up being twenty-three to six here in the fourth, and they've got a punt from their own end zone. Hawks would get it back. We're just you know kind of ground pound. Well, not here. I end up throwing the ball. I don't know why I did. It's really a better idea to just run the ball in the fourth quarter, try to run the clock out, especially if my halfback had like two hundred some yards on the day. Really good, really good game for Clark Green, and it's really easy to have a good game with the running back in. And it's CWA 06. By the way, there's also a face mask called there on the Wildcats. And my man, Bill Snyder, is angry. Um, I know now the, the kind of modern perception of Snyder is that he's, he's more of a soft kind of grand, football grandpa kind of guy. But he used to, he used to get angry. I, I remember him being uh, very much disdained by the KU fan base. Not just because he was good, but because he would, he would be kind of a tough media presence he would be kind of a kind of a tough coach he would run the score up on the Jayhawks which I kind of predict he's going to do this weekend um, I'm, I'm willing to bet K-State wins by like eight touchdowns by the way they score at the buzzer to make the end score uh, 26 to 13 cheerleaders going nuts you know go cats uh, <laughs> they're on Catterday 26 to 13 the Jayhawks win a uh, that was actually not a completely unheard of result back then KU won I think four or five games between 04 and like 08, this was the one year they didn't, as I said. Um, that's not not at all going to happen this weekend. This is going to be a bad, bad game. Uh, KU Athletics emailed me free tickets to the game. <laughs> Even though I'm not, I'm not going to use them because I'm already getting in. But like, they are trying really hard to get some KU fans out here because there's just no talk surrounding the football program no talk surrounding this game people really are apathetic and that's what's going to happen when you go two games in a row without scoring a single point it's not looking good for the jayhawks but you know what i'll be out there anyway hope you are too if you need a ticket i've got four free ones so you know that's how it's gonna go um yeah that is the end once again ncaa 06 maybe the best college football game you can find out there i completely recommend it uh, pretty much wholeheartedly recommended it if you if you're looking for a football game or an NCAA football game or even just a good football game. It's just a fun fun game. Can't say enough about it. As far as I know, that's all.